Hi there, uh, this is Mehdi from Talus Drones. Here I have two radars. This one is the radar that helps DJI Agris T40 follow the train. This one is the one for the T50. So this is an omnidirectional radar. T50 has two of them. One is at the front and one at the bottom. The one at the bottom is, there is something inside of you here. It's, uh, there are some sensors. It's more of a LiDAR system. It's not radar, actually. So it's turning at all time. It helps with the obstacle avoidance uh, of, like, the obstacle avoidance system and also tells the drone what is the height of it. So if there is a slope, this keeps telling the drone, okay, now you got to go higher, go higher, and so on. Then it keeps the drone at, let's say, 10 to 12 feet that you define in the remote controller for the operation of the drone. It's very important to keep the drone at the same height while it's flying. The reason is that at different heights, you will get different swath and spray width. And this will help you for rolling hills. If you have any rolling hills, let's say in um, Washington, we had a customer that had rolling hills and uh, the T40, the Agris T40, had a little bit of a difficult time. It would get close to the to the field and you would see it as an obstacle. So let's say, I'm looking for an example, but let's say this was uh, the, the hill. The drone would, wouldn't change the altitude fast enough so it would get close to the ground and it would see it as an obstacle. Now with the T50, it keeps following it like at the 10 feet that you define. You get the same swath and uh, this is one of the main advantages that the Agris T50 has over the T40. There are other advantages, uh, but the payload is the same. Uh, another advantage of the T50 is the, the fact that you can add two more nozzles. In total, you will have four. But I would say this is a game changer and it makes the T50 a lot better than the T40 in train falling. And it can, in fact, follow slopes up to 50 degrees and the t40 was rated for slopes up to 30 degrees max so thank you for watching and this was about the sensors of the agris t50 and t40